Well, hello everyone. Uh, greetings once again, this time from the Alcott National Center here in Wheaton, Illinois, where we have just, really almost just this moment, completed our uh, annual Summer National Gathering, Summer National Convention. So people are still in the process of leaving, going back home to places all around the United States, and a few from uh, places as far away as New Zealand, Mexico, and a couple of other places. So it was a very good conference, uh, Psychology and the Soul. We had some excellent uh, presenters, and more important than even the presenters was the sort of feeling of community that forms at times like this. So that's very good, but I'm not going to tell you anything about that more, because uh, that's going to be the subject of our next month's blog. This one, what I'd like to do is just bring you back up to speed on uh, our travels, which uh, where we left off, we were in northern Italy. So uh, in our last video, we ended up in Trieste. From there, we went on to Udine, a small city uh, with a very active group in uh, northern Italy. And from Trieste, back to Vicenza, which is where our trip in northern, in, in northern uh, Italy started for their annual convention. But we went back this time just to meet with the local Vicenza group which is always something that uh, I enjoy because it's a very, very good group of people. I've gotten to really know and to like the folks there. So from Vicenza, we went on to Milan. Uh, and Milan was really the starting point for our reason for going to Italy for a, to attend a vegetarian conference, specifically focused on vegetarianism, uh, also coinciding with the World Expo, which is being held for six months in Milan. 145 nations have pavilions there, and so it was an opportunity to say something from a theosophical point of view about the subject of vegetarianism. Good conference, well attended, uh, one day event. So anyway, we'll show you some things about that. Lovely, I mean, the arrangements were made by the Italian section, and they seem to be able to do things in a very high level, first rate sort of way. And this, this event was no exception. So I'll show you some things about that. From uh, Milan, uh, Lily and I got on the plane, and next stop, you may have guessed it, Chennai and Adyar. So we spent uh, some time there. Part of our time there was also, we also did a brief tour to uh, Bangalore and Karnataka, which is a very, very active section, uh, very active region within the uh, Indian section. Uh, actually, the second largest section in the Theosophical Society in terms of national sections is the United States. Uh, Karnataka by itself has more members than the United States of America. So uh, it's an active group, and it was very, very good to finally get to meet uh, some of the folks there in their, uh, actually in the city of uh, the town of Gauri Bidanur. So get a chance to show you some of those things. Also going to show you a, a preview of what many of you will see when you come for our convention in December. Uh, probably, as you know, we have begun some of the planning for restoring some of the buildings there and actually some of the new construction ideas uh, we're going to be putting into place. So get a chance to see something about that. Quite excited about it, and as are many. So a lot to uh, bring you up to speed about and a short time to do it. But I uh, hope you like the photos, and I hope you enjoy traveling with us as we go from Italy through India. So enjoy, and as always, please let me know what your thoughts are. So until the next time, hope you like this one. So from Trieste, it was on to Udine, Italy, uh, which we had a nice meal, potluck meal, all the fresh fruits that were in season at the time, and a lovely meeting together. Translation was done by a good friend, uh, Roberta, one of two Robertas from Venice. From there, it was back to Vicenza and the national headquarters for the Italian section for an evening meeting with them and the crew. Was so helpful to us the whole time they were there. Uh, sometimes people ask me about how it is these vlogs are done. So this is just on the train to Milan. Uh, this was when I had an opportunity to complete what I'm actually doing now, which is to do the uh, talking and the voiceover portion. So just in case you were ever interested, this is how it works. This is on the train on our way to Milan, which uh, we went there 
specifically to attend the uh, veg a vegetarian conference in connection with the Expo, the World Expo being held there this year. 145 nations are gathered. Milan, of course, is a beautiful city, uh, and the Theosophical Society has a wonderful, uh, wonderful place there in Milan. So we had a chance to actually meet with the group there and have a, spend an afternoon together which was capped with a lovely outdoor al fresco meal with the entire group. Wonderful, wonderful occasion. But the next day was when we had the actual uh, vegetarian conference. Uh, ve diet, vegetarian diet for a sustainable future. And it was held in this beautiful palazzo that used to be a publishing family. Now it's used for public events such as this. Lovely place. Uh, every seat was taken up and it was myself a uh, neuro, neuroscientist, a neurophysician. Uh, the lady on my right is the head of the uh, Vegetarian Society in, uh, in Italy. Enrico Sempi was very much involved and the whole crew from Vicenza. From there it was on to Adyar, where we uh, got a chance to meet with some of the new volunteers who are there from all over Europe, Latin America. As always, we stop in with the school to make sure that everything is going along well there. And the students also attended special event, our fourth group of uh, graduates from the UNATI vocational training. They were dressed up in mime outfit for a skit that they did, which was wonderful, just quite entertaining. During our time there, we also had a special meal. Someone who had been with the at Adyar for 50 years sponsored a meal for everybody who was there on staff. So it was a very, very enjoyable meal. About 200 people you know, themselves and their families attended. The next step was on to Bangalore on the Shatabhi Express. So just a, you know, just a few little bit of footage about the trip there. Fascinating to see some of the, uh, some of the countryside and the landscape of uh, that portion of India. It's remarkable because it's a 20 degree drop in temperature between Bangalore and, uh, and uh, Chennai. Chennai was about 105 degrees Fahrenheit, and it was uh, just 80 some degrees uh, so when we when we arrived in Bangalore. Wonderful group that they have there. They have right in the center of the old city. It's uh, their Theosophical headquarters. Just a beautiful, beautiful spot, much like in uh, Varanasi. They've cultivated it over the years. Uh, very, very mindful about its growth and its maintenance. Really, quite a quite a wonderful group. Uh, they have a room especially for Krishnamurti. Annie Besant had been there to lay cornerstones for the things. Radha Bernier had been there for many buildings as well. So about 200 uh, members turned out for that. They had done this special uh, emblem of the Theosophical Society just in time for our arrival. So it was a good group, uh, a packed house, uh, many, many people, very active, very active group. And as a long history of activity. From Bangalore it was on to Gauri Bidanur, where uh, greeted by the with the turban and the ceremonial scarf uh, to meet with the group there in Karnataka because they were holding the Karnataka Federation as well as the 50th anniversary of the Gauri Bidanur Lodge. So the first night was about 400 people, the next day was about 650 people. Uh, this is one time you'll see me in a, do in a dhoti. I was uh, dressed, dressed to the nines. Of course, there was the uh, entertainment, a wonderful dancer uh, who performed that evening. So the meetings went well with uh, kids and many, many people. Family groups were there. Very good series of meetings. Uh, while there, the place we were staying, I noticed that every now and then there was a uh, mango that was uh, found its way and it was chewed up in the middle of the area and I was wondering who was doing that. Come to find out that our little friend was the one. Back to Adjar, Mikhail Haas here with me, the, our friend and architect from the Netherlands. So I want to show you some of the things that are going to be upcoming. The Adjar Theater, everybody knows from year to year this is where the convention takes place. Every year we've put up a temporary structure. Uh, as of September 25th, we will have completed this new structure, which is going to be uh, the covering for the Adyar Theater. I think it's quite remarkable and spectacular. And we close with just a view of clouds, 
seen around the world.